Hey guys, as promised, uh, I'm going to do this real quick rundown. I just got off of work. I'm exhausted, um, but I need to show you guys how to do a burn an SD card. Some of you guys have been asking. Um, if you're running Windows, uh, first off, uh, all you need to do is download a file called win 32 disk image dot exe uh, it's a really simple file really self-explanatory um, all you're gonna do is run that navigate to where you downloaded the IMG file from uh, click on the disk drive letter label on the right and choose a letter that corresponds to your SD card um, make sure you don't choose your hard drive um, because there's the potential to really kind of screw things up um, if you're using Linux um, hopefully I don't have to explain this to you because I am by no means uh, a Linux genius I just kinda get by by reading tutorials and uh, flying by the seat of my pants I mess things up sometimes I get it right when I get it right it's great when I mess things up it really sucks um, so first thing you're gonna wanna do for Linux um, I have three windows here open uh, number one my device manager so I know where my SD card is in my case it's uh, slash dev slash MMC BLK zero okay that's gonna be very important I have my terminal up uh, notice I'm in super user mode um, or super I have super user access uh, indicated by that my hash hash mark here and then I have my instructions over here that I am going to go with you over or go over with you step by step um, so once you're in what you're gonna do um, is you're gonna wanna make sure that your SD card is not mounted okay um, so for me um, you're in you're in super user or in as super user uh, type in U mount space slash dev slash where whatever your SD card is okay hit enter <clears throat> uh, should say not mounted if it says that you're golden next thing you're going to want to do type in dd space if equals the name of the file okay um, it'll be two gig um, let's see let me pull up this file for you guys here real quick what the heck did I do with it Places should be right here. Two gig underscore clockwork dash zero dot one dash ext four dot img dot zip. Um, I'm going to post a link to that file that I used that I uploaded to multi uploader or multi upload dot com. Uh, just download it from there. Generally, you're supposed to check uh, MD5 sums, which is basically a digital signature of the file. But I do not have those MD5 sums, and I'm kind of lazy. Like I said, I just got off of work, um, and I don't have them. Okay, but simply type in the name of that file, or um, if equals the name of the file, of equals wherever it is that your SD card is located. Um, and then hit enter and let it let it run its course when it's all done um, if you're it, it'll take a couple of minutes um, when it's all done pop out the SD card and pop it back into the computer uh, and you should have four separate files on there or one file and uh, four or three uh, programs um, after that just simply plug it into the nut color and you're good to go um, there are other size dependent clockwork mod uh, files that you can use uh, I'm using the 2 gig I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier simply for the fact that those are the most common SD cards in my house um, and they're of, you know they're enough size that you can get the clockwork mod image on the on the the SD card as well as um, a, dot, a zip file for your ROM. Um, if you're using Mac, I haven't done this, okay, um, 
but the instructions for that are also on nookdevs.com. Um, you can also go to uh, cyanogenmod.com and look for the Barnes & Noble Nook Color Full Update Guide, and that will tell you pretty much everything that I just told you. Um, if you have any questions, comments, whatever, feel free to post them below. Like I said, I'm exhausted. With that, I'm going to bed. I wish you guys luck, um, and I will talk to you soon.